Hey guys, just a quick update for you this month on our 8-way paint protection films comparison long-term test. As you've seen in a few of my other videos recently, we actually had some snow here in East Texas, which only actually happens about once every four or five years. So last 30 days worth of weather on your screen right there. We're now at the 11 month mark of this test and as usual, we will foam it down, rinse it, foam it again, wash and of course dry it before we inspect things. If you've been following this test, you will notice how things have begun to discolor quite a bit recently. Uh, we've put these films through quite the list of torture tests, including bug guts, self-healing abilities, water spots, spray paint, permanent markers, and so on. One thing that has been suggested still to do is the mustard stain test. So we can see how the film discolors. Is that something that you guys want to see? Let me know in the comments. I will plan on doing a pretty in-depth look at this inside our shop next month at the one year mark. Do you want me to keep running this test as is or do you think I should try to polish the film or use a product like PPF Renew or something like that to bring back some of the luster, get rid of some of the imperfections in the film? As you can see, they're all looking pretty sad right now, so we're going to look a little bit closer and while the sun is out, I'm going to try to change the angles of the camera here and uh, just, you know, kind of looking for your opinions on how I should proceed uh, going forward at the one year mark here. This is your test, so I'm willing to listen. Make sure you're subscribed so you get the latest updates and of course hit that bell icon to get notifications when a new video goes live. Smash that like button as it really does help out the algorithm so more people get to see these videos. Also, from this point going forward, I will leave my mailing address at the end of every video. So if anyone wants to send me any fan mail, hate mail, or the like, as well as other ways you can support the channel through Venmo, Patreon, PayPal, what have you, so you can enjoy seeing more of these types of tests. So looking up close at the films, as you've heard me discuss in previous videos of this series, Ceramic Pro Kavaka, it's almost turning a very dark color. These ones in the corner here are S-Tech, Dino Prism, Dino Carbon, and I just I slapped those on there. They're not really officially part of the test, but uh, they started at the same time. And of course, Hex's Body Fence, it's running 30 days behind all of these other films, because when I first started this test, Hex's had reached out to me, said that they wanted to be included in this test, so of course I obliged and we got it on there, but it was 30 days behind. So you can see in the sunlight, the self-healing properties are gone on pretty much all of these, and we've tried refreshing it through an isopropyl alcohol, uh, wiping it with it, we've tried a, decon a decontamination wash, nothing has appeared to help it. And remember, this sits outside 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The, uh, the Texas summers are brutal, and they can really do a number. You can see that the, uh, the depth is still there, it's just the, the imperfections in the film, the water spotting, especially on ceramic pro Kavaka, is really bad. But you, you see some of those swirl marks in the film, that's just micro abrasions. And they're, they're all, uh, you know, to some extent, they're looking, looking very tired, some more than others. But if, if I had to choose one that's the least amount of discoloration, I still think that Hexus is the least discolored. As far as the clarity, mm, I, it's hard to tell right now. So, you know, what do you, what do you guys think you want to see from this point going forward for the one-year update and uh, future torture test? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you soon.